Slicer Tech will begin the match successfully moving out to midfield, securing necessary three points for their reliance. A, their partners will do the same. 3147 horsepower will unfortunately just miss and engage as we get into the teleoperated period. Their partners, Shamrock Botics, wasting no time, immediately picking a cone up from midfield and moving it over to score in their grid to fill that up as fast as as robotically possible. The Reliance Partners 5484 choosing to source their game pieces from, a no from another point. This strategy at the moment appears to be reducing traffic in the red community and hopefully that helps them get the efficiency they need to win this match. The Blue Alliance, it does look like 8103 hits that speed bump a little too hard, but with an entertaining improv act pushes them back upright with their claw. 5402 also on the Blue Alliance appears to score a cone attempting for a high junction. And looking like that will indeed fall for them. That will be another five much needed points for the Blue Alliance. The the junction on the Red Alliance tells the story of a successful match so far with, as you can see, one link scored, another one about to be scored, and they will be collecting the bonuses from that. They need three more, remember, to collect the ranking point. 90-71 with 45 seconds left appears to have engaged their partners, Knight Robotics and Sir Big Boy, might potentially be joining them in just a moment. We'll see how that develops as we get towards the end of the match. 30 seconds left. We have entered the end game period. For those of you just tuning in, teams are getting their robots into final position to score final points to give them an edge in this match. 5402 only has one actively moving robot at the moment, electing to remain scoring points instead of participating in the main end game activity. 5484 and their partners, the Munster Horsepower, will both successfully climb and engage at the last possible second. We will see how this one is scored. Let's take a look at our scores. And it's the Red Alliance winning 83 to 50. The decider in this one being a very successful play on the grid all match long.